Hi everybody, uh, welcome to this week's weekly highlights. Um, today I just have a couple of new candles I'd like to tell you about. Now these are from Glade. Now I have tried Glade before, but um, you know I once I got really into like Yankee Candle and Slack and I stopped buying Glade. Um, and I hadn't bought one in a long time. But I was on Facebook the other day um, in one of the wax groups and somebody was talking about their new fall line that they have and um, and so it got me curious about them and um, they were saying how they were pretty good and um, there's four new scents and um, the scents are maple pumpkin it's either maple pumpkin or pumpkin maple and then apple spice and then blackberry jam and autumn harvest so those are the four new scents and so when I went to Walmart yesterday no I'm sorry it was the day before I um, I looked for them but um, the the one maple pumpkin they were out of which was the one that I was really really interested in because I love pumpkin scents so um, I picked up Blackberry Jam and Autumn Harvest and they were they really smelled great cold so the first one is this one's Blackberry Jam now they do burn fast I've only you know they're only filled to right there this one's tunneled a little bit I burned it but um, so this is as full as they are, are when you get them and um, so they burn pretty quick. I mean, I burned this one for a little while on Tuesday evening, and then I burned it um, for the better part of the day yesterday, and it's almost gone. But it's a nice candle. They they only cost two fifty, and a lot of times you can find coupons for Glade candles in the Sunday inserts. But um, I have to say, this one really smells nice. It's a sweet as you can imagine scent um, it's, it really does kind of smell like jam and um, it, it's it's pretty good I mean I've smelled tarts that smelled similar to it so it's I mean it's on par with um, you know uh, uh, one of the small mom and pop vendors um, I've smelled similar type scents in, in there you know when they have jam scents or whatever now but this one is the real standout Autumn Harvest. Now this one is really, really unique. I love this scent. Um, I could actually see this being in a, in like a, a, in like a Yankee Candle scent or something. It's that unique, that complex. Um, so I highly recommend this Autumn Harvest. Now um, burning, it smells sort of like a, like an outdoor, like like a fall night when you're like walking outdoors and it's cool and you can kind of smell maybe somebody's fireplace and maybe smell the the trees and the leaves and stuff I mean really it's got that kind of um, scent to it it's got a real smoky scent to it and just smells outside you know what it almost reminds me of um, that smoky quality that's in holiday sage from Yankee now, I mean, those of you that have smelled that know that there are other things besides that. There's like cinnamon and, of course, sage. But there's a smoky note in that fragrance. And this reminds me of that. So it does, I mean, almost kind of remind me a little bit of Christmas time or maybe, you know, November. Like a really, really cool night with um, fireplaces going. So I love it. I mean, I really, really like it. So I would definitely, I mean, the Blackberry Jam's nice, um, but, I mean, this one's the real winner for me. And I will definitely buy another one. Uh, I'll probably burn it all fall. So, I mean, but they, they don't last long. So I will definitely stock up on this one. And I still want to try the Maple Pumpkin. And the, actually, the Apple Spice smelled really, really good, too. But, I mean, you can get an Apple Spice scent anywhere. But, um, so I just wanted to share those with you. 
Um, be on the lookout. Like I said, they're 250. They don't burn a long, long time, but I mean, for 250, you can't beat it. The throw, I would say, was light to medium on both of them. Um, but man, this is really a great scent. I really like it. And actually, there was another Glade scent that I used to like. It's called, um, oh man, I'm not going to remember it. Um, but it, it was around at Christmas time. And actually, some of the vendors did a dupe of it. Oh, why can't I remember? I can't, I won't remember it. And I'll just sit here for 15 minutes trying to think of it. But anyway, so I'm hoping, basically what I'm saying is, is I'm hoping that um, the vendors will get uh, a, a dupe of this eventually because it's that good. I would love to have tarts in this scent. And then tonight I'm burning the ever lovable blueberry scone. But we've talked about that many times so I won't, won't get into it. Um, so we'll just get right into the tarts. Uh, I finished up, I'm again still not buying wax. I mean I bought these Glade candles but I don't think that counts for, really. So um, I'm just still working on some stuff, trying to get through some stuff because I know any day now I'm going to I'm gonna break down and, and, and bring out the fall candles, but I still have not. So I mean my big Yankee fall candles. I, I haven't lit them yet. I'm trying to wait a little bit longer. So I finished up some tarts this week. Um, several bags of Kim's. Uh, the first one, Grammy's Berry Griddle Cakes. Such a nice scent. I love this scent. I've talked about it before. It's just um, a very sweet um, kind of pancake but with berry uh, berries and like a sweet syrupy smell. I love it. Then I finished up Orange Caramel Crumble. Another favorite of mine from Ken's. It's just so, so good. Um, it's really got a rich caramel and um, orange note to it. I love it. Almond Cookies. Now this is different than the Yankee version, but it's still really nice. Mmm, I love this one. Um, it didn't last too, too long, but while it lasted, it was really, really nice. Then carrot cake. Now this is the spiciest carrot cake I've ever smelled. Um, but I love it. I mean, it's a really spicy. I mean, you get the bakery note, but the spice is just really out front. But you do smell, like, I almost smell the carrot in it. And, you know, some, like Yankees, I smell the cream cheese frosting. This one, I actually smell the carrot and the spice. Um, and that was all for Kim's. And then, front porch, I, um, I melted this uh, candle shop. Now, this is a bag. I had three or four in there. But, um, so I've been, I don't think I've talked about it before, but I've melted it several times and, and wanted to mention it tonight for something new. I mean, lately I know that I haven't been talking about much in the way of new scents that I haven't talked about before. And Candle Shop is a very unique scent. It's really, it's supposed to smell like just mixed up scents all together, like when you walk into a candle shop, you smell all the fragrances mixed together. So, and this really captures that. It's sweet. It's a little bakery. It's a little fruity. Um, and heck, it might even be a little fresh. But it's just all m mingled together where you can't pick out any one note. So, um, I mean, it, it's pretty versatile as far as pairing a candle with it because you can pair anything with it. But this really reminds me of, you know when you buy, it, when you get a tart package in the mail, that scent when you open the mailbox and you smell your package before you've opened it and all the scents are intermingling together, that's what this smells like. It's really, 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 I love that smell. I, I mean, for me, when I get a package, it's, it's, it's exciting. So that smell, I... I associate with excitement so I, I really like the scent and it's very strong too. Now I don't think everybody would like it just because it's just such a mishmash of, of stuff. 
Um, and then Johnny Caramel Cakes from Mason Jar Primitives. Um, I just think this is okay. I mean, I melted half of it before, and I melted the other half uh, this past week, and I don't know. Maybe I wasn't in the mood for it, but it was just okay for me. And then I melted Hillbilly Home Brew from Can Do Candles. Now this is a really nice scent. Um, it is very spicy. It's not a bakery scent, but it's it's like a very spicy apple type scent. Apple cider maybe. Um, it smells a little like apple cider meets apple jack and peel. Um, so it's a really, really nice cozy scent. Would be great for fall. So for me it was kind of it really went nicely with, I think I burned kitchen spice and melted this this week. So I'm doing little scents like this. It kind of holds me over before I bust out the pumpkins and the autumn leaves and the autumn wreath. Um, but this one would be great in the fall too. And then from Sniff My Tarts, Lemon Bunt Cake. I melted this today with my blueberry scone and it was just fabulous as always. It's so strong so delicious um, you really get that bakery cake uh, and the lemon it's just so good and it, it goes really well with uh, blueberry scone so I melted it all day it lasted all day and in fact I could still smell it when I poured it out but I was just ready to, to put in a different tart for the evening and I put in nice segue maple pancakes because it always also goes really well with blueberry scone so I've got in maple pancakes and man is it strong it's like really really strong so I love the scent I love the candle um, but actually I think I like the candle better because it is so strong now don't get me wrong strong is not a problem for me but I just like the candle um, because it's still strong but you can kinda like I can't smell the blueberry scone anymore this is so strong so with a candle you could kind of even it out. I could burn the candle and do a tart of blueberry scone and then I would get more more of the two scents together. Pomegranate cider. I love this one. <clears throat> it's supposed to be a fall scent but to me it's just kind of tart and fruity. Just a tiny little bit of spice but not real spicy. I love it. Farmer's Market. It's one of my favorites for this for August. I would say August is kind of my month of farmer's market. If I could pick one scent that really <clears throat> really goes with the, the month for me, I would pick farmer's market because it's not real super fall, but it's it, it's kind of going in that direction. But I mean, you know, you might go to a farmer's market in the summertime so you can get away with it and it's different fruits and it's got some spice and it's just such a nice scent and then Macintosh and Peach another great scent for this time of year um, I wish it were stronger but it's such a good scent <coughs> Pardon. spiced orange now this one is retired um, but I scored quite a few during that um, closeout sale when uh, one of my Yankee Candle stores was, was closing. I got quite a few of these and I really like the scent. A lot of people say it smells like um, like furniture polish or something. I don't think so. I kind of get where they're coming from with it but I just think it smells um, a lot better. It's got a lot of ginger and sweet orange. It's not actually very spicy so um, it, it doesn't have like a strong clove or cinnamon smell. Um, it's really pretty much orange and ginger. And then last but not least on the Yankee, good morning. I love this scent. Yummy, just fruits and maybe a light muffin scent. Just kind of a, a delicious morning fragrance. Reminds me of continental breakfast at, at like a hotel where they have the fruit and the muffins and stuff. And then I did two more of the Candleberry uh, melts, and um, I'm really enjoying this. Uh, the first one I did was Vanilla C 
crumb cake. Now this one was really nice. It had a medium throw and um, it was just a really nice bakery um, vanilla bakery scent. Um, it wasn't hugely unique really. I mean it, it was a good base bakery scent like you could have mixed any number of things. You know blueberry scone would have went well with it or some other type of fruit or um, just any kind of bakery scent would go with it. Yeah, but it was really nice, warm and inviting. And then the standout, this w was so far the best, my favorite from the Candleberry melts that I've melted so far, wild blackberries. Wow, was this one good. Now, at first I didn't think, you know, I thought wild blackberries, I like blackberry, but you know, I usually like like it in a bakery scent or in a jam scent or you know something more than just blackberries so I wasn't expecting much but boy when I melted it it was just awesome and I do think that it's got other stuff I don't know what all is in it what all the notes are but it didn't smell just like blackberries and nothing else it was sweet it had that tart blackberry but also a sweetness to it, almost a creaminess to it. Um, so it could have been, like they could have called it Blackberry Cobbler and I would have described it as a nice bakery scent. It, it really was um, a unique Blackberry scent. I really, really liked it. The throw was great. Um, so yeah, this one's a really, really nice, rich scent. So folks, that is my weekly highlights for this week. Um, next time you see me, I may have busted out the autumn wreath and the autumn leaves, um, but I'm just kind of taking it day by day. <laughs> so, and I'm hoping, like, I'm thinking that in the next week I'm going to have to order something because I'm just kind of going crazy. I mean, I bought the candle last week at Marshall's and that kind of held me over. And then the other day I bought these little Glade candles and that kind of held me over. But I, I really want to, like, order some wax or buy some candles so we may be breaking my wax band this week but anyways hope you all have a great weekend and i will talk to you all soon bye